Easy Mill is an advanced milling package with all the same features as Express. This package is certainly worth the investment when you can apply the following benefits. Multiple UCS. Create coordinate systems anywhere you need to reposition your workpiece. Not only will you be able to simulate your entire part, but you can create separate G-code files for each side in one document. 3D Machining Wizard. There are four styles of 3D toolpaths that offer both roughing and finishing using the same pattern, which means there are eight different strategies, not to mention 3D projection for engraving and contouring over surfaces. Fourth Axis Machining. If your machine supports a fourth axis, in Easy Mill, both indexing and wrapping are possible. 2D geometry or solid models apply. Let's look at multiple coordinate systems. We'll start by positioning the world. We'll select a contour work step where we will spiral down to full depth using a helical style toolpath. Using smart click. Now for the flat surface, we'll apply a pocket and high speed machining. Smart click again. Now we'll use the 3D machining wizard and cut the radial surfaces. Choose the surfaces we're going to machine. Now all the remaining surfaces become check surfaces. That means that the work step should be aware of them and not violate. Now I snap to the bottom of the part. We'll use the bottom coordinate system. Rotate around X 180 degrees and we're going to paste the value of that mouse click. It's not going to be negative. And we'll copy and paste the work steps that we created earlier because we're going to have an exact copy of the machining strategy and apply that to the new faces using the bottom coordinate system. Our last 3D preview to see all the machining come together. Now we'll separate the G-code programs. We'll go into the toolbox and activate the activate work steps. All for one UCS. And we'll do the same for the other side. Two sides and a little 3D machining. Let's take a look at our roughing passes. 3D machining wizard. We'll start with pocketing 
and roll the tool over the edges by the tool diameter. A finish allowance of 20 thousandths for a cleanup pass. Use high speed machining. With high speed machining you can get away with a pretty heavy depth of cut. Just lighten up your step over. We'll turn off the high speed machining. This gives us five different types of roughing tool paths to choose from. Now for parallel. You can use any cut angle. You don't have to cut left to right, up and down. for radial. The focal point is on center of the selected surfaces. Now finally longitudinal. The longitudinal is similar to the pocketing work step without the high-speed machining. I'm going to place the ball end mill tangent to the edge of the surfaces by using less the diameter. A heavy step over is used to get a better view of the wireframe preview. For better part finishes, you would use a small step over and a tighter tolerance. In some cases, you might want to combine two different toolpath types to get better finishes as well. Here we have flat geometry that we're going to project onto surfaces. We'll create the path for the tool to follow. I'm going to discriminate white so they don't select any green geometry. Choose curve projection. We're going to include our path. And the diameter is the tip of the tool. Now to actually cut into the surfaces, we're going to give it a negative finish allowance. Let 
Let's create the top pocket. I'll change the tool diameter to something that fits. The Z surface is from the coordinate system to the top face. Now for the bottom. Make sure you go to advance and index around X. Go back in and make sure the surface height is correct and the rapid. We need to be high enough for the index. Now for the slot. Again, make sure your Z surface is correct. This is from the center to the edge. And the last side. Now indexing is as default, so you don't have to worry about going to advance. And this part is complete. Here is a good example of wrapping around a cylinder. We're going to use a curve to aid in the machining path. Go to edit and make sure verify mode is checked so you can select multiple surfaces. Now we'll create a contour operation. I'll change our diameter. Then the surface value is going to be from the center to the top of the cylinder, which is radial. Go to advance. Then for wrapping, select around the x-axis. Pick your path. And verify. Now if you look, you can see that we're machining the curve on the opposite side. So we'll just go in and reverse the direction. Now you've seen where we separate Easy Mill from Easy Mill Express. We thank you for watching this video and hope to hear from you soon.